Hi everyone. Oh, one more love sitting on paper. You can hear it crinkling. All right, hi everyone. In this video, I want to show you two projects that I am repurposing as something else for my year of using what I have, which is my theme on a Patreon this year. So if you don't know, I have a Patreon page, which is basically my paid YouTube channel, my exclu more exclusive YouTube channel. Um, so I have more uh, exclusive tutorial videos on there. I have master classes. You can learn how to knit color work with me. You can learn how to knit lace. <laughs> Still sitting on the paper. Uh, you can learn to knit your first sweater with me. I have a whole walkthrough video of that. I have a whole walkthrough video of a lace shawl and color work mittens. So lots to choose from. But um, this year is my year of using what I have because I want to use... <laughs> Momo is undecided about where she wants to sit. Okay. Right. Because I have way too much stuff like yarn, fabrics, but also projects that I have made or bought um, and that I'm not using as much. So that's what I want to tackle this year so that I'm more mindful of what I have but also of what I am buying uh, uh, be that you know materials or ready-made items so the first thing that I'm going to show you is this cardigan which is a cardigan that I have knit seven years ago and it's the Antonia Antonio pattern um, so a unisex cardigan with a saddle shoulder, I think, or maybe an English tailored shoulder, something like that. It's a really nice shoulder. Um, it's knit top down. Um, I knit it in hand dyed yarn and uh, I wanted to, to give it a bit of a revamp because the sleeves were too tight. Uh, they were already on the tight side when I finished it, but now seven years later, uh, it's definitely too tight in the in the sleeves. So um, I am going to unravel this sleeve and pick up the stitches and then just do less decreases uh, because there were lots of decreases in the arms. I have already finished this sleeve you can see it's very bumpy because I've just knitted and not not washed and blocked it. Um, and uh, yeah, it fits really well. Um, I'm I'm uh, recording a more extensive video on this for my patrons, like how exactly I pick up stitches and how I find uh, the ends of the yarn where I've woven them in. And um, yeah. And another difficult part for this project is that I have alternated skeins. So while unraveling the sleeve, I need to, you know, keep untangling the yarns, which is a bit cumbersome, but, um, you know, it's fine because I know it will be a much more well-loved project when I'm done with it. Uh, and then after finishing the sleeves, so after adjusting the size, um, I want to uh, over dye it again because this is made, uh, I've knit this from my own hand dyed yarn and the yarn, you know, at the time uh, didn't really turn out the way I wanted it to and I thought, well, I'm, I'm into over dyeing stuff at the moment, so why not also over dye this? So I'm planning to over dye it in, in a, a deeper shade of orange, red, terracotta, something like that. And I'm hoping that, uh, <laughs> that I can do it. Um, I was over dyeing some yarn the other day, uh, hoping that it would be bright red, but it actually turned bright bubblegum pink. So that was fun. Um, yes, yeah, so... I'm very excited for this project because even though I've had this cardigan for years, I think the past four years I barely wore it and 
you know, it's still in very good condition. Um, there is some slight pilling, of course, but it this is in very good condition. Um, I think this was 100% wool. Uh, Scape is something. <laughs> it was like kind of a uh, fisherman's sweater yarn. Oh, escape use Zydose. That's what it was. Um, so ugh, I'm getting fluff all over my face. Okay, so this is the first project. Um, again, I will have a full video on this for my patrons. Um, so go ahead and check out my Patreon page if you haven't already. Seven day free trial is still up. So um, if you're not sure if you want a subscription, um, then you can try it out for free for seven days. The other project that I want to show you is <laughs> um, this. <laughs> it was a cowl. I've already unraveled one edge. So this was, it is now one long tube. And this was turned, uh, yeah, let, let me try to put it back. So it's one long tube, but it was like this. Like this, and then, of course, I have raw edges here now because I've already unpicked this, but imagine this side looks just as nice as this side, and then it was just like a cowl. Um, my boyfriend bought this at a market. It's handmade. Uh, we were at a handmade uh, winter fair. I think this was 10 years ago. And he wore it maybe for the first year. And after that, he just didn't wear it. Um, so it's been sitting in the attic. And I thought, this is uh, a good quantity of fabric, actually in colors that I don't really buy, but that I, um, you know, could use, because they're very neutral. Um, of course, this is, you know, it's showing up m brighter than it is. It's, it's quite muted. So I thought uh, these would be nice fabrics to add onto something, so I am unpicking the seams um, so that, you know, it, this is quite... It is a lot of fabric. And, yeah, look at it! <laughs> um, and it's quite sturdy too, so I'm sure I will be able to use this for something. So I'm going to unpick this and just put it in my, uh, you know, my sewing supplies. Um, so that I can use it for, I don't know, pillowcases or... Um, patchwork something that would be really cute um, yeah but I'm just looking at my wardrobe and you know the attic and stuff that I have um, with a different view now um, I'm looking at it with okay this was used for this but maybe I can repurpose it for something else I'm having loads of fun this year because I am giving myself permission to use the yarns that I have because uh, I'm sure I'm sure you have this feeling that uh, you know if you bought a bought a lot of yarn or if you have a lot of yarn maybe there are some special skeins in there that you're like waiting for the perfect project and I'm kind of giving myself permission to use it for something less perfect. Um, I've used most of my Lethlopi yarns for a punch needle rug and then for a crochet rug and then for um, a pot holder and it was just really really nice to use that up. Um, I had bought it initially for this other rug idea that I had in mind and some other punch needle projects but um, yeah they were going to need some more thinking and so I just did the easy thing <laughs> and now I've used almost all of it. I think I have maybe 150 grams left uh, which is 
just a fraction of what I had. And also the yarn that I'm using for my Minori sweater, it has been in my closet for so long. Uh, so I'm finally using that. Um, and you know, part of it is giving myself permission to use those yarns. And part of it is giving myself permission to make something that is not going to be a new design. So I'm giving myself permission to make something according to a pattern by another designer. Um, and that has been loads of fun because it it's less pressure. And halfway through project, I can decide, oh, I want to do this instead. Whereas if, if it was my own design, I would need to note that down to the little as details and um, yeah it's very freeing so it feels very nice um, so if you want to join in with the year of using what I have feel free uh, we have a garment along going on at the moment and I am doing live videos for that every Thursday morning at 9 a.m. that is uh, Central European time um, yeah <laughs> so let me know what you are tackling this month and i hope to update you soon on these projects all right thank you for watching see you next time bye, -bye.